you are watching Tech Live at this hour, hour, these are live pictures wanted. coming to you okay, from don't, New don't York at the World Trade Center. As you can see, the towers there engulfed in flames. We do have okay. some uh, updates for you now in the story. Reportedly, not just one, but two planes that struck the towers in Lower Manhattan. Towers. In, uh, in the financial district. Reportedly, uh, the Associated Press reporting to us at this hour, one of these planes may have Where? maybe a hijacked 18, 737. Again, one of the planes, a hijacked 737, is cutting, yeah, coming it's from it's the there. Associated okay. Press. Six people apparently dead at this hour. Hundreds are injured. Uh, oh. The tower, uh, okay, as you may recall, was also the side of a terrorist that. attack back in 1993. So that attack causing, as we know, massive evacuation, several deaths, incredible destruction. At about 9, 10, uh, a little after 9 o'clock a.m. Eastern Take it. time, it's wait, wait, hold on. the New York Stock Exchange will also will wipe evacuated. Behind. That is just blocks from the World Trade Center. Okay. Ready one under? Take one under. Interrupt. We're going to actually show you some video, 18. very disturbing video, obviously, uh, of one of the planes Take. crashing into what I believe was the north. This would have been the south tower, because the north tower, I believe, was the first uh, tower <sighs> to be hit. This, again, is the World Trade okay. Center. We believe we, the reports ready one uh, come from the Associated ready Press one under. Take one, one under. of these planes was a high Rewrite 737 that, uh, commercial airliner. Uh, and it was, as you saw that video, very disturbing footage of it again? crashing. Dave, we need it for a minute. Roll 18 again. Roll 18. Take World it. Trade Center, as Erica said, six people Heard the American dead, Airline plane was hijacked. Oh. As you can imagine, uh, uh, Dude, that's got to be terrorism. We hit around the 50th or 60th floor wow. into the sure. side hey, of the building. This now. is the home to many investment firms. Uh, as as Stacy Tisdale just mentioned to us, the World Trade Center oh. is the center of we America's clean. financial core we want and to uh, is going to have Okay, I'm taking the tape and I'm going to get a cut. Okay, Dave? Ready two? Ready two under? Take two under? financial markets, Absolutely. given the impact that the U.S. markets do have on that. Ready we do know at this hour, all three of the New York we'll airports are closed. LaGuardia, JFK, uh, we believe in Newark as well. All New York airports are closed at this hour. Again, some, some incredible, very disturbing news, uh, some shocking pictures. And obviously, the trading has been halted on the New York Stock Exchange because at, that, at this point, uh, it's been evacuated uh, okay. to prevent any further so uh, to break. We're injuries, from 600. although they're not located in the same area. Don't, no it's music. to evacuate the whole area. We're going to be bringing little, more information as this comes. Stacey Tisdale and our New York Bureau and our wow. New York Bureau in general will be covering this story for us and bringing us uh, whatever we're information we get breaking, and we'll bring it on to you. We'll be back after this short break. Please and stay with Tech Live. Kill the mic dissolve. One. Well, 20 music. Affecting out to camera two here. And move two. Dissolve. You're hot. For another five seconds here. And five, four, three, two. Crossfade Joe. Dissolve three. Mic and cure. Airgate PCS is buying IPCS for more than $800 million <coughs> in stock. You now, the virtual make Airgate right, one of right? the largest wireless Airgate? of Sprint PCS. Airgate PCS is right for a flag low. Online. This for will this boost week? Airgate's customer base from 179000 to about 300000 As part Ready of the deal, clean? the paper says Airgate will also assume at $97 million in debt. Take if you're in the market for a PDA, Ready, here's some good 16. news. Handspring is offering CG1. free visor phone <coughs> attachments with the purchase of a PDA and service with Handspring's new multifunction. Okay, this handouts. is pretty quick. Erica has a tease on camera three just here. Received regulatory approval yesterday. We'll combine the features of a traditional organizer with Jack. a cell phone and web browser. Hey Jack, browser. we're going to bump out on you. The you can sit up for a sec. One of the new devices, codenamed The Manhattan, has a built-in keyboard. While the other one, okay. codenamed Shay, uses graffiti handwriting recognition and al along with software keyboard that comes with the Palm OS. Handspring told the FCC it would market the Manhattan Ten. as the yeah, Trio we're good. Ready K 180 clean and the Shay as Five. the Trio G 180. Take my cue. So much more to come on Tech Music. Live. Right Answer after short break, we're going to check in with Jack Myers, Chief Economist of Myers Reports for our daily <coughs> broadband reports. Never mind. Next. Ready, Master? Go, Master, and fade your audio. Roll 20, raise off. And roll 20, dissolve. Back to nine to one here. And cross page other, dissolve. Mike and Q. Circuit City is reportedly going to have 16, a new partner. CG1. According roll to the 16. Wall Street Journal, the Take retail win. outlet is expected to team up with Hughes Electronics, Ray three on Direct Erica. TV, to offer retail customers more choices in internet three. Can you pet down just a tiny bit? Direct TV like DSL services yeah. will be offered in Perfect. more than 436 Circuit City outlets by the end of October. 
This Raise move is clean. intended to bundle a wide array of video entertainment, internet, household monitoring, and voice services. It also leverages Hughes Elect Direct TV to compete with cable television systems and other satellite services. Raise three. Day three. For more on what's happening in the broadband Day arena three, this morning, we're going to turn blocks. to Jack Myers, Chief Economist of Myers Reports. Good morning, Day. Jack. Good morning. How are you today? I'm doing well, thanks. Uh, right. Perhaps a little bit better than excited how we've been talking about the company mm. for the past Ready couple days, facing you listening from the NASDAQ. $50 million in debt. This morning, Jack, for exciting, there's a report in the home. Wall Street Journal that a group, and, uh, including former Clinton White House Chief of Staff Polly? Mac McLarty, Right. Okay. Maybe looking into an investment for okay. Excited Hump. Do you know anything Rainbow about that? Well, given Dave. that the stock is uh, about to be delisted, it's uh, in the 30s, uh, 30 cents, uh, 36 cents. It, uh, it's a tremendous value for those who really can get away from the Excite part oh, of Excite at Home, the online component, <laughs> and focus just in on the cable modem and high-speed access into the Could home. It's, a, it's a good, solid yeah. business that has long-term growth potential. The problem that we're facing is that management at Excite at Home Stand really by. lost sight of that core subscription-based business. In January of 1999, they acquired Excite, which uh, for $6.7 billion, which while it was a high flyer on Wall Street and the second largest portal at the time, uh, had no subscriber base, no paying subscriber base. And then they proceeded to buy Blue Mountain Cards, also another high flyer on Wall Street in the internet sector, but also with no paying subscriber base. Compounding that for Excite at Home was the fact that there's here? tremendous consumer confusion between the cable modem product and the telephone company's DSL product. And what's the, difference, what's the difference? What's the technology differences? And uh, problems once 17? it comes into the home, home. Uh, technology wise, okay. it's difficult to Rural install, 17? difficult to get to work. Clean? And Rural also, take? the biggest problem, I think, is that there's really no content that's driving for this? the high speed home, modem Pauling? business for Raise the cable industry. Yes, the cable networks haven't really gotten behind it to provide programming directly for high-speed usage. So in the early days of television, you had Lucy and Uncle Milty, and then Color TV was driven by Bonanza and Cable TV, of course, by HBO, <laughs> TBS, I think I did it. MTV, ESPN, Rainbow CNN, Water. and so on. So we need that same kind of dynamic Take. for Excite at Home to grow. But um, Matt McGuardy, who is a, was a Clinton advisor, is partners with Henry Kissinger and a uh, strategic advisory firm. Uh, no, no, hold on one sec. Made, uh, I'll tell you several inroads uh, in conversations with Excited Home and appears Advanced. to be interested in either a minority or a majority state. Ready double with Excited camera Home one? has, what, 3.7 million broadband subscribers worldwide. It's a pretty large base. Why is their share value so low, though, Jack? Well, you know, it's Ready all against one, expectations. Uh, if you go back Ready to one, the second quarter take. of 2000, they were projecting Which one? This just one? a year ago the 6 million subscribers by okay. the end Resolve of 2001 and 10 million by the end of 2002. So there was tr tremendous hype around the potential growth of this sector, which just hasn't materialized. There's churn, people Ready buying one, it, one. sending it back, being dissatisfied. So the growth has not been anywhere near the projections, take. and the capitalization of the company was based on those projections, so we have to Kim look at, the, at that whole category much more conservatively now going forward. Real quickly, Jack, we, we don't have a lot of time Rainbow left, but um, you had said I mean, earlier that the problem take. is there really isn't enough content to drive uh, adoption mm -hmm. here. But uh, this Rainbow morning we're hearing that McKenna just told us about Circuit City and DirecTV teaming up to increase uh, for DirecTV's DSL, DSL. service. Is, it, is mm -hmm. it these kind of deals that are going to, that, that, that uh, the companies need in order to drive adoption for broadband? Take. No, I really don't think so. I don't think it's driving the technology. First of all, I think the cable industry needs a national marketing campaign to explain the, the benefits of cable modems. I think we also need things like internet-based multiplayer video games uh, that are DSL-driven, things like the, the new Microsoft Xbox and, and Sony PlayStation, to put those, those, that, that software, that gaming software online for multiplayer use. I think that'll drive high-speed modems, along with the types of things we saw this morning on, on music and other types Kila of content, has a the VOD, on one. Uh, the video on demand that HBO and others are offering. We'll see more and more content. Yeah. But this industry will take a good three to four more years to really roll and up, roll the out and gain and the, the kind of momentum that the industry was the looking forward to just a year ago. All right, Jack, we have Ready to wrap it up there. One. Thanks for joining us today. Take. Jack Myers is chief economist with okay. Myers Reports. Thanks, clean? Jack. My pleasure. Stay Take. tuned. We'll have a Music. market update Ready for you when we return. Don't go anywhere. Resolve under remote two. Dissolve under remote two. No frost. Ready, master. Go, master. Major audio. We got